Hey detectives, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Disco Elysium. In the last episode, we started our conversation with the Union dock workers that probably did this murder, got murdered by them, which mm, evidence, if not for the fact that we had to reload so that we're all murdered, and we're now gonna finish up that conversation. Another one, and get the fuck out of our booth. We're not gonna do this again. All right, so we're back here. I had to back off, and now what the hell do we do? Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. The lieutenant closes his I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. Let's just uh, establish our authority. Establish authority, yes. Authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. But that's all I got. Did you already try the gun thing? I hear the gun thing is excellent and has great results. You're probably right. The others are only there for filler. To make the gun thing pop. No, oh, let's not. Damn it, man, I'm the only thing keeping this town from going to hell and, and you're not exactly helping. what exactly is it you've been doing that's so goddamn special? Shitting yourself in front of us. Going around, <laughs> harassing kids on the street. Kids who've done nothing wrong. All the while talking racist shit. Don't think we aren't watching whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, yes, I did. People oh, here trust us. Hell. We're getting complaints. Fascia. That's short for fascist. I haven't harassed any kids. So you keep saying, and I do want to believe you, but it's getting harder and harder. E, didn't Carly say something? Yeah, Callie said you've been hanging around the daycare center. In the bushes, man. By the jungle gym. Trying to set up some weird field trip to your station. What the hell? It's in your home. I can believe that. That rings true to me. What? Carly works in the kindergarten. There is I'm no Carly and there is no kindergarten. It's a joke and we are getting derailed. I see. Please stop hanging around the jungle gym. Whatever <laughs> you're doing there is making you look awful. And it's not helping you with these guys at all. Yeah, I'm going to take off now. I would agree that it's weird that they just confessed to first degree murder right out the gate. Like, yes, we can't arrest them with just the two of us, but theoretically, that sugary we black could eventually. Um, whole hour. Maybe you haven't turned out what ha get your. Theoretically, we could eventually get back up and deal with that. I suspect there's... Well, I don't know, what the hell are you doing here? I suspect there's more to the story. Okay, what do I want to level up? I'd like to get my logic back up, because it's currently broken, I think. Oh, I see. It's new, t new quests for Tuesday. I do not want to drink alcohol. We're gonna have to get a lot more information. We had a 3% chance to pass that check. We're gonna need a heck of a lot more information if we're gonna do that. Um, Alright, first easy thing. Let me go and contact dispatch. In the morning light, the white on blue police livery on the moat carriage cannot but catch your eye. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? Wasn't I supposed to do something important? Something murder-related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. This is a Caprice Kanema. The Caprice Motor Corps follow up to their highly successful workhorse, Caprice 40, and the answer to the Lums racing breed, Fur Series. With its air-cooled, rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine, driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox 
The Kanema is able to reach 100 kilometers per hour in 13.5 seconds and That's go on to a fast, speed actually. of 180 kilometers an hour. Okay. Won't it roll over in the first sharp corner? The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kanema effectively a mobile power plant. I'm liking this tech though. Due to a quite steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police livery. That machine really puts the loco back in locomotion. Very cool, Kim. Mm -hmm. You want to take a closer look? Yeah, what's it packing? 130. 130 ho ho horsepower? I reckon that's a 7 liter V12 there. Man, that's got to be a major advancement over the KR18GU engine on the old Caprice 40. That's got to be a big advancement on the KR18GU, huh? Yeah, you know it? Well, just the basics, cast iron blocks, world chamber injection, dual chains driving overhead camshafts, two valves per cylinder, hydraulic valve lash adjustment. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm very impressed that you know these things. Uh, that's a fine machine, Yes, huh? an extraordinary machine. He really likes his car. It's nice and all, but why so modest? Put some zing into it. Flare it up. Slam it down. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. You ever thought about switching to helium headlights? Actually, I have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring for the ballast first. Uh, I'd be happy to help if we ever get this case solved. You want to help? Thank you for the offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first though, alright? He liked the idea. Alright, let's move. Inside. You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I know all that about the engine, but I don't know how to turn on the damn headlights. All right. Ready? I turn. You press start. It's next to the preheater. He turns the preheater on, waits, ta takes out his keys, and says... The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The raspberry gauge jumps, and the engine of the Caprice Canadian comes to life. Growl, like a leopard waking from its sleep, yawning and roaring at the same time. The Headlights. lights unfold with a little click, casting electrical light onto the ground before the vehicle. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. Okay. As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. There she is. Revachel West. There's a note of pride in the lieutenant's voice. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. Take a look at the street grid. The rectangular grid. watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet, the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They shimmer in the Kanema's headlights. Crap. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stopped lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. He smells the air and says, Where are we on this? Let me see. He takes the ledger for a moment and inspects it. Right here. He says, his finger near the top of the map, on a segment of coast jutting out on, into the great ocean. But I'm sure I've seen worse. Oh yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The Burnt Out Quarter. The Burnt Out Quarter? Come on, guys. Get your act together a little. How many cities actually have a Burnt Out Quarter? Alright, look at the perforations. There are many of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. Okay, The tally first up. row has 18 dots. Alright, not bad. Not, not bad, bad for what? You don't even know what it means yet. It's just a decent number of dots, you know? The, the next, next one is the longest. It runs all the way around the border, and then some. Count them. You count 216 perforations. Damn it, that's a free morale healing. Considering that nice, large number, a wave of pride washes over you. Though you can't say why, precisely. I guess I should always leave it as low as I can, and just carry 
carry my healing items in case... Because it gives you a second to heal in an emergency. Uh, and if I'm full, then I can't take advantage of any free heals I might come across. But Nostro has three perforations. Just three? That's it. Lame. What do all the holes mean, Kim? Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. Okay, 216 would be cases, I guess. 18 would be... Unclear. Three... Might be people killed, honestly. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. The first row represents oh, 18 your years, years of, of service. service. Okay. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Um. Mate, do you really think I have any idea at this point? Fair point. Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> this next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see. So, years of service, closed cases, and the third one must be kills, I would think. Wow, more than 200. 216 to be exact. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. See, Kim, I told you I was a superstar cop. Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your precinct. Now, let's look at the last row. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. That's not that many. For an RCM officer, especially precinct 41, which is in the Jamra quarter, it's rather um, tame. I mean that in a good way. Okay. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. It's obvious the lieutenant doesn't think very highly of these officers. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. Thanks, Kim. How do you handle it? Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. It gives you a meaningful look. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Like tip-top racing? Par exemple. Maybe I should find a hobby. Why not gardening? You've already got the gloves. Fair enough. You ever killed anyone? I asked this already. Yes. Okay, well, thanks. The lieutenant nods. All right, let's go. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. Press the remote control on the you key. You can now see your statistics on your journal page to the right of the task description. Ten cases a year does not actually sound like that many to me, but... Uh, okay, this is my map. Ooh. A list of white checks. Uh... Oh, hey, right here, I see. Name unknown, rank unknown. That's not true. I know my name. It's Harry Dubois. Uh, we've got a lot of points in Superstar Cop and also in Sorry Cop. Alright, good enough. And in Communist. Don't forget Communist. Oh, but more in Ultra Liberal and Moralist. Wait, ultra liberal sounds bad, actually. When did I get a point in fascist? Good grief. All right. Well, oh wait, radio. I'm gonna call Alice back. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-up. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large. Now, now, that's enough fun with the foldable headlights. I know they're mesmerizing. They are also fragile. I'm not going to turn it on for you again. <laughs> yes, Kim. Right here it is. Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Uh, have you heard back about the serial number? Yes. The armor was produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt, sur la clé in 42. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacie, a security firm contracted to protect the interests of Oranis pharmaceutical companies. In the Seminine conflict. Well, he was Oranese. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the firm has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacie has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. 
Any idea what it's called now? The most recently resistor firm that the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP is a military contractor called Trenel. And the one before it was down when. I think they might be the same contractor. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom this suit was fitted. Yes, yeah, suit armor like this would have been customized to fit the wearer. Is there any record of the person to whom it was issued? Yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to share private sector records. I could try to talk them into it, though. Uh, yes, please do try and be helpful if we learn whose armor this was. Sure. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully I will have more information for you then. Okay, do I want to talk to the 41st again? No, I don't think I do. over and out. In the cabin, you see a set. All right, that's enough. What else we got? Oh, yes, if we're not going to get rid of the corpse, then we need to... very much find a fridge for it very quickly here. Oh, it's raining. That's interesting. And the corpse is pretty... Like, what are we going to learn? The man is decomposing visibly now. Every hour, he looks less like a creature and more like a pile of intestines. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gone. Oh. I can see you're gone, but who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. You are now, but who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. That does sound right. Alright, I got another Go question. Ahead, Papa. Uh, where you going? Into the wild pile yonder. Where's that? In the past. Way out in the west. What's what the hell's do happening? You mean? How much it's this the corpse? power of your... Black, frothy liquid starts bubbling out his lips. Imagination. Yeah, makes Go sense. Go ahead. Ask me more questions. You fucking love questions. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a copperoni. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Yeah, you give me questions. Here you go, you loony. Hmm. Why do I feel like I've done something terrible? Because you have. I hate you, you stink and you're boring. Do I remind you of someone? A child born with Muller's disease, Harlequinism, grown up miraculously. You look like a baby with Harlequinism. You sure got out of that one? Coppolini. Okay, that's Come awesome. back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. Shoot, Looney Ronin. Come back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dreams. Okay. Uh, this is straight up locked. Do we even try? Do we just take the body away? It's decomposing real fast. Well... I guess we can go check for this freezer thing. It's behind here somewhere. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vartner Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago. He thought it would last forever, hence the name Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Sounds right. Why am I looking at this? Oh, what Because the it's nice and orderly, well laid palettes, easy on the eyes, rhythmic pattern, calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay, there's clearly a door past here, but apparently I'm too dumb to understand that, so... 
Can I see this? Where the hell am I trying to walk to in order to look at that? Good grief. How do I get to this bridge then? I have no idea. Uh, well, I feel like it would be through there, but... Why is there a woman up there? There's a lot of map right around here that's not accessible to me. I can't even access whatever those are. possible to get back there from the street either. No, there's not really an alleyway here, it's just the street. Oh, I should talk to my young little bit. So, how'd you like a harbor? You've been in there, he means. Talked to the boss man too, probably. Well, it was nice enough. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. He notes solemnly, then turns to you, a wide smile adorning his face. Right. You talk to the boss, eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Yeah, Everard said you had a key to a door. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? He said it belonged to a weasel. Oh, say no more. I got you. He taps the side of his nose with a little wink. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Uh, yes, I'm opening this door for all working men. I knew this man was a commie. And it's a good thing you're doing too. Thanks. What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling and rise. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Okay, but... Where did you get the key from? The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. This case wanders off in the distance. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Anything else I should know about this? This weasel? When he'll be home? I'm more of a philosophical dog worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. The man takes a big sip from his flask. He means he's not going to tell you, cause he doesn't know. But he will shoot his mouth off with you now that you're working for Everard. Hmm. Yeah. You know anything about the Hardy Boys? Los Hardys? They're an independent militant group. A bit too high strung, but it comes with the responsibility. They're sort of like you. Preserve the rule of law and all that. Except it's Everard's law. But really, they're just like you. Why the We're negotiating again? our share. Your I share? A larger share would you like? All of it. However, right now we want all the harbor workers to be on the company's board, so they could take part in the decision-making process. Entirely reasonable. This seditious talk sounds like communism. Just so we're on the same page, communism is basically wanting to kill the rich people or deporting them to a labor camp in Southeast Grad. But don't say that out loud if you're a communist. Gotcha. What can you tell me about a fraud? I think it's best you make up your own mind now that you've met him. In my eyes, he is a capable organizer and a decent businessman. What's bossing the union entail, anyway? I guess you kind of get to be the village chief. He oversees the harbor, makes deals with the owners or other relevant parties. Watches out for his own. By that, you mean corruption? By heavens, why would he not be corrupt? We live in a harsh and disordered world, see? And in this world, the old man is corrupt for our benefit, and we know it. Appreciate it, even. He is, personally, not too lavish. The desk seemed kind of lavish. He is reasonably lavish, sure. That's his prerogative. It's not like you want a saintly demeanor on a corrupt motherfucker. That would be a manipulative illusion. Besides, there are no non-corrupt systems in the world anyway. And moralism is the most corrupt of them all. This man has political theory, and it has not failed him today. I got the picture. Sure thing. This Just was great. Hair. You feel mentally reinvigorated. Yeah, any idea who killed the man? mercenary, eh? 
Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? Yep, he was hanged with a very specific type of cargo belt, one often used in heavy transport areas, say for example, harbors. What a thought. Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Unless they were pushed, of course. Pushed how? Your dead guy was an enemy combatant. What does that mean? He was an agent of the opposition, attempting to undermine our honorable efforts. Did you kill him? I ain't the murdering type. But that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men. With all sorts of skills. He's not lying about not doing it himself. Understood. This has been of limited use. Still, thank you. No problem. I wish the best to you in your search. Sure, I'm glad it's not my search. He takes a sip from his flask. Alright, good talking to you, Manana. Hey. Psst. What? Psst. Hey, you. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. Should we just stop building love too? Can't argue with so, that. What about all that communism you've promised to build? Word on the street is You've woken up from a thousand years of slumber, promising to erect a version of communism, many times greater than any attempted before. Is that true? Why is there word on the street? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impound all people who have more than 25 real in their pocket, literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs that kind of stuff. Well, hold on. I've said some left-wing things, but not sure about those. Oh, yes. The mass of ambivalence. Don't deny it. You're about to rip it off and reveal the monstrous seven-eyed lamb of global communism that would devour and masticate mankind. I don't know Everyone about that. can see that. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Wait, wait, wait. What's this communism even about? Failure. It's about failure. I don't do failure. Of course you do. You are failure. You are communism. Absolutely vanquished. Beaten. Curb stomped. Shat on. While everyone else is out partying, having a callous laugh, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. Will I? You alone against every living thing, against every human alive. 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class, towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers, million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. You against the atom, the charm and the spin, where the whole world fell. Matter failed to bend to human will. Human will failed to get out of bed and tie its laces. You alone, single-handedly, will rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. That seems like a gross exaggeration. Now get to work, comrade. All right, let's start building communism. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. <laughs> Wait, what? Firing squads? Too late to back out now. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. All right, roll my sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. So ah, we've gained a thought about Mesovian socioeconomics. People think communism was some crazy idea that had its comeuppance 40 years ago. A fever that shook the world never to return again. They were right. Until he woke up today. A spiritual corpse responsible only to the call of Commodore Red, prostitutes, and Krasmazov. For him... Communism is still a thing. It will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the oceanic trench where it's been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He is the big communism builder. Come, witnesses attempt to rebuild communism in the year 51. I got minus two visual calculus because it looks too much like reaction. Grief. Okay. We need to find this rep. Where is she? Thanks for watching, detectives. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. 
and have a nice day, detectives. This is Sea Lord Agenda, signing off.